Hey, our friends, say we're gonna be drawing Camillo. Yeah, from our favorite movie, Encanto. That's why we've been drawing a lot of characters. In mm -hmm. fact, Camillo's your favorite character from the movie. Yes. What's your favorite part with Camillo? <laughs> when he had a baby face and he was yelling Maribel. Yeah, he has this big body and a little, little head. Yeah, a little tiny baby head. Uh -huh. He's going, Maribel! Yep. <laughs> we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home or your classroom. You also need some paper and something to color with. <laughs> yeah, all right, you ready to start? Yes. <laughs> Let's first start by drawing Camillo's nose. We're gonna start towards the top of our paper, but in the middle. So we'll go come up to about here, and we're gonna draw a letter U about that size. Yeah, there you go. And then we're gonna draw his eyes. And let's draw a circle right about here. I'm gonna draw it about this big. And I'm gonna draw another circle, the same size over here for his other eye. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Okay, now let's draw another circle, smaller in the top left. This is for the highlight, to make his eyes look shiny. And one in the other eye too. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then let's color in the big circle. We'll leave that little circle white. Anytime we fast forward the video, remember you can pause the video and take extra time to finish that step. Okay, now let's draw the rest of his eyes. Let's draw the outside shape. I'm gonna start here and we're gonna draw a U shape that comes up, connects to the top of his eye and back down. Looks like an upside down U or a rainbow line. Yeah, and then we can connect the bottom of his eye. There you go. Now let's repeat that same step over here on the right side. We'll draw an upside down U, back down. And then let's connect the bottom just like we did on the left side. Nice. Okay, now let's draw a smile. And we're gonna draw a really big smile underneath his nose. And we can also give him little cheek lines. Okay, now let's draw the shape of his head. We'll start over here next to his eye, and we're gonna draw a really big U shape for his chin and his cheeks, and stop in the same spot over here on the right. Yes, good job. Oh, let's also add his eyebrows. We're gonna draw a curve that goes over the left eye, and it kinda comes up towards the middle. Let's do the same thing on the right side. It's already starting to look like him. Yeah. Now let's make his eyebrows look thicker. We're gonna draw another curve above the first one, and there's a point here at the end. And then we can connect the two lines in the middle. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Come up a little higher and then connect down. Now let's color in the eyebrow shapes. Now we're ready to draw his hair. Let's start in the middle of his forehead and we're gonna draw a wavy line that comes down and connects to his cheek. And then we can do the same thing on the right side, just match it, come down and connect. Then we're gonna draw a little line that comes up from that middle of his forehead and then we're gonna draw the outside shape of his hair, and we're gonna repeat that same wiggly line, but we're gonna come down all the way to his cheek. So we'll start here, we can come up a little bit, and then come around, and then we're gonna connect into his cheek. There you go, keep going, you did it. Let's repeat that same step over here on the right side. So draw a wiggly line coming around, and connect into his cheek. Jack, I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. I especially love how big you're drawing his head. The next time I draw Camilla, I'm gonna draw him a lot bigger. <laughs> and I like this hair right here. You know how it comes in a little bit? Yeah. His hair is so dark, you could also draw another line that comes out a little bit more like this side. To match the other side. Yeah, to match the other side if you wanted. There's no mistakes, right? Nope. 
And it's okay if your drawings look different than ours, I'm sure they're turning out really cool. The most important thing is to have fun. And to practice. Practice, remember to practice. All right, let's keep going. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing on mine also. See how mine comes in a little bit too. I'm gonna come out a little wider, just like you did. The cool thing too about his hair, it's super dark. So we won't even probably see that line when we're all done coloring. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Let's draw his body next. We're gonna draw a diagonal line coming down to the left and also a diagonal line coming down to the right. Now let's draw a curve right down here we're gonna go up and then back down to connect the two lines. Okay, now let's draw his neck. We're gonna draw the letter V. We'll come down in the middle and then back up. Then we're gonna draw his white shirt underneath. We're gonna draw a smaller V right under his chin. And then a straight line down, turn it into the letter Y. Okay, now let's draw his arms. We're gonna draw another diagonal line that comes out to the left and then we're gonna draw another diagonal line coming into the body. Okay, let's do the same thing on the right side. Diagonal line down and in. Now let's draw his arm and hand. We're gonna draw another diagonal line that comes out a little further and then we're gonna curve in. And then the same thing on the right side. Diagonal line, it looks like the letter J. Yeah. Yeah, then let's add two lines for his sleeve on each side. And then we could also draw his little thumb on his hand, a little curve on both sides. Next, let's draw his legs. We're gonna draw one line right down the middle. And then we're gonna draw another line on each side, but they're kind of coming towards the middle line. So they get a little closer together towards the bottom. And then let's draw a curve to connect all three of those lines. And at the bottom of his pants, there's a little cuff so we could draw another line right above those. Now let's draw his feet. Let's draw the line in the middle a little longer. And then we're gonna draw a sideways U shape that comes out and then curves around and connects to that middle line. Let's do the same thing, except the other direction on the right side. He's wearing sandals, so let's draw this strap. We're gonna start here in the middle of the U-shape, and we're gonna draw a curve going up. Then we'll draw a curve going down. And then we'll draw the back of the strap going across his foot. Let's repeat that same step over here on the right side. We'll draw a curve going up. And then let's draw a curve going down and then the strap or the thickness of the strap on the back. Let's also add the bottom of his sandals. We can draw a curve that just matches his feet. I'm gonna make it, just kind of looks like you're making the bottom of his feet thicker. Let's add a few more details on his shirt. We'll draw another curve right above that bottom one. And then let's draw vertical lines going across Let's also draw the bottom of his ears. So I'm gonna extend this little line and then we'll draw a curve coming into his cheek. Let's do the same thing on the right side. You can extend this line out and then draw, almost looks like the letter J. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing Camillo. He looks really cool, except he's gonna look better once we do what? Color him. Yeah, my favorite part. We are gonna fast forward the coloring part. So remember at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Jack, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring Camillo. 
and it turned out so cool. Yeah, it looks so much better colored in. I hope our art friends will take time to color their drawings also. We used our markers, but you can use whatever you have at home, like crayons or colored pencils. And if you have the same biannual markers, the colors that we use are Y762, that's the really dark brown that we used for his hair, and the skin tone we used was Y611. Yeah, this is the same color we've used on the other drawings. Then we also used two yellows. This is the dark yellow, Y315. And then the light yellow we used was Y107. And then the brown that we used for his pants, Y648. We hope you have fun drawing Camilla from Encanto. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you take time to color your drawings and even add a background where you could draw a big plate of food. Oh, yeah. That was one of my favorite parts. I love that part. Yeah, he got caught, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> See you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.